Hello everyone, I am here at CES 2020 in Be Quiet's press suite to see what's new and ultra silent. Xander, how are you today? I'm good, how are you today? Good, thank you. Please tell me all about this build that we're standing in front of. It looks to be a full Be Quiet build. I would love to tell you all about this build, <laughs> but actually it's all about the case. Ooh, um, okay. So I'll, I'll tell you about our PureBase 500DX. Uh, last Computex, we introduced our true entry-level case called mm -hmm. the PureBase 500. It was a case with a closed front. It was really nice, editors loved it. And instead of stocking it with entry-level components, they would actually you know, stock it with a little bit more advanced components, right. but then they would run into some cooling issues. So what we decided to actually do a PureBase 500DX, which we call an airflow optimized case. Nice. Um, there's a few things you can immediately see. Airflow optimized, we have a beautiful mesh in front, mm -hmm. draws the air in, then there's an air filter behind that. Great. And we added an additional fan. The original PureBase 500 has two fans. This one actually has a third 140 millimeter fan on top, okay. which pulls the air out as well. Great. Um, it has a mesh on top for the airflow. And we, you know, even though the case itself is the same, it has the same features as the- Same cable the, management space, et cetera. Exactly, and, okay. and all the neat tricks that we added to that case. We had to redesign the front, obviously, so we decided, you know what, let's go all out. Let's add some extra nice features. What we did is we added two addressable RGB strips. You can see it okay, here. Okay, yeah. Um, you can hook those up to your motherboard if you have an addressable RGB header. If you don't, we have a microcontroller in there and you can cycle through uh, like 20 something different settings. Awesome. Um, another thing that we heard quite often is why don't you have USB C on the front panel? It's an entry level case. USB C okay. is expensive, so we said, yeah, we're not doing that. Everybody was asking for it. We were like, okay. You know what? Let's add it. Now we have so it. So <laughs> we have USB-C and regular USB on the, on the front panel as Perfect. well. Perfect. Um, the PureBase 500 was available in three colors. It was available in black, white, and gunmetal gray. Mm -hmm. For this one, we're just doing black and white. Okay. Um, it has a side panel of, made of glass, tempered glass. We're not doing a closed side panel because that wouldn't make any sense doing an RGB case. Sure. Um, but where the original would run for up to $80, yes. this one is available for $100. So for wow. the $20 price premium, you're actually, you're getting addressable RGB, you're getting an extra fan, the USB-C header and a controller, which to me seems like a good deal. Yeah, that's a very affordable price point for all the features you just listed. And is this currently available or it'll will be, be available it'll soon? It will be available in March, so pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Great, and let's, t let's move on down yeah. the table and see what else we have here. So, <clears throat> If you, if you buy a processor, like a general desktop processor, it usually mm -hmm. comes with a stock cooler. Um, they're not always the best. They make noise. You could improve on No. That, what? So that's why we originally introduced the Pure Rock cooler. Mm -hmm. um, I can actually grab it here. Perfect. Um, we're now doing a Pure Rock 2. It, it's more or less the same specification, same cooling capacity and everything. But what we did is um, we actually made it asymmetrical. So we're moving the cooler a little bit to the side so you will not clash with your REM modules. Awesome. Especially if you have really neat RGB modules. Yeah, you want to showcase them. Of course. Them. You don't wanna... um, another thing that we're doing these days with our coolers is that we're letting the heat pipes directly touch on the processor. Okay. Which makes them respond a little bit faster. Okay. Um, this cooler, uh, actually, I'm going to grab this one as well. Great. Do you want me to hold one? Um, no, it's fine. Okay. I just want to say that we're doing two different colors now. Perfect. So we have a silver one and we have a black one. These coolers will be available in April. Awesome. The silver one will cost $39 and the black one $44. So you're paying five bucks extra for a black paint job. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if it then, fits the aesthetic of your build, then that $5 is worth it. Exactly. Yeah. If you're actually looking into overclocking, I'm not uh -huh. talking about hardcore overclocking, but at least playing around with it, Yeah. then these coolers are a little bit too entry level, but okay. we do have a solution for that as well. Okay. I'm going to grab it let's, from you behind let's you. Let's do it. Um, we had the Shadow Rock 2, and now we actually introduced the Shadow Rock 3, and we're doing the same thing as we did with the Pure Rock 2 cooler. We made it asymmetrical, so we move everything to the back, so you will not clash with the memory modules. Uh -huh. We're doing the same direct touch heat pipes. Great. Although, in this case, we actually added an extra. The original had four heat pipes, this one has five heat pipes. Okay. So the cooling performance is actually a little bit better as well. Nice. We also outfitted it with one of our newer fans. It's a Shadow Wings 2 high speed fan running at 1600 RPM. Okay. And other than that, we added an aluminum top with, as you can see, a nice bicolor design. 
Um, and the mounting system has also changed. So we're using the same top mounting system that we have on our Dark Rock series that people know. Okay. Um, and the question most people ask is, so does it also include the screwdriver? Yes, it includes the screwdriver. There you go. Um, this will also be out in April and this will cost you $49. Okay, great. Excellent. And is there anything else Be Quiet is showcasing that you want to talk about today? Yes, there's definitely something else, but we're going to need to move over to some other spots. So. Okay, let's move. Here we go. All right.